we're gonna um, we're gonna do a simple brake booster check. Let's say you're a starting out tech or something. You're starting to field, and your boss is they're having complaints about their brake booster. Maybe it's the brake booster. Check the brake booster, and you're thinking to yourself, maybe you forgot, and you're thinking to yourself, how do I check the brake booster again? Anyways, this is just a a quick way of checking the performance of the uh, vacuum assisted brake booster you're going to find on most vehicles found everywhere some are uh, some have different type of operations most vehicles today have just this vacuum assisted it just uses a brake power booster it's got a diaphragm and uh, what happens is basically when your engine's running you have vacuum coming from the engine to the other side is that diaphragm when you push down on this it pushes down also on the master cylinder through the piston but to help that piston and help to to push this down easier when you push this down it, it relieves the valve and the valve allows air to come in this way and then it, it 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 allows the suction to suck it so it basically it just helps so you don't have to push so hard on this thing when you're uh when you're braking because little old ladies out there they're driving these cars and they definitely they don't want to have uh to put tons of force on their pedal on the brake pedal to stop you know you got little old ladies driving cars and stuff you don't have just big old tough guys so uh the vehicle's off right now and it's real easy it, this is called like pedal reserve right here um you just put it to somewhere. You could put it like to right here if you want. You could, wherever you get a reference point, just get yourself a ruler or something. You could put it right here if you want. You can see you're about four and a half right there. And uh, you, you just pump it. You wanna give it a consistent, see how it's going down. I'll put it like this. So it, that's what I was using before. I'm at about five inches right there. And then the reserve goes to about four, five, let me get this a little bit, five to four, about an inch. That's for this vehicle. You want to check your vehicle, might be a little bit different. Um, it's about an inch or so, it moves about an inch. So you pump it, pump it, pump it, and then uh, one check you want to do is, I'm going to have to push this down, so I'm going to have to leave you right there I'm gonna have to uh, see if I can do it with you right there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the vehicle with my foot hold down on this like that I'm gonna try to get you in there unfortunately this is a stick so I gotta stick my other foot in here to push this down so if you wanna you can see I'm gonna start the vehicle. You wanna pump it. Now it'd be good to have a reference with the ruler, but you're gonna be able to see. It. So I got it down. Now I'm gonna start the vehicle. See it goes down as soon as I start the vehicle. The vehicle almost stumbles a little bit at idle. And you push the brake booster. And then what I'm gonna do now is, watch me hold it down like that, and I'm gonna stop the vehicle. Now what I'm gonna do is, now I got it down. Now this is also gonna do another check right here to make sure that it's sealing properly. Every time I push up and down, it's supposed to raise it up a little farther. See, it goes down that far. Let me try to get the ruler down there. Every time I pump up and down, it should raise it a little bit higher to the reserve. See, now it won't go down as far. Now it even won't go down as far. Now it's nice and tight. Basically, what's that doing is checking the power, power brake booster. When I had it like this and I started the vehicle and it went down, that's telling me that this thing is getting vacuum. It's telling me that it's working properly. After I start the stop the vehicle, and I hold it like this, and it, and it raises. Basically, the first pump, it goes all the way down, 
and then the more pump it keeps going it goes it raises it higher higher this way so it'll be down here then when I pump it it'll go up I pump it again it'll go up like that and that tells you also that that uh, that it's sealing properly um, and basically the final check you want to do oh yeah I know these slippers are stupid somebody gave them to me because they said they look gay but I'm okay with my manly hood so um, the final check you want to do is you want to just push down on it and you could get the ruler or whatever you got to measure and you push down that a steady steady uh, push and you wait about 15 to 30 seconds and if it doesn't gradually go farther and farther down see how it's not really moving it's not going down any farther it's just staying right there that's the final check you need to check the uh, power booster brake power booster if it can if it if at this moment with the vehicle off I pump it like this then I hold it like this if it starts going farther and farther 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 and down like that then you might have some kind of leak in the system so uh, at that point you would want to check the uh, the hoses and everything and it might be a, um, a problem with the, the booster itself um, oftentimes sometimes with if you have a problem with the power boost because it's connected to the vacuum itself you might have a lean trouble code p0171 p0174 or 72 uh you might get a lean code you're getting a lean code because basically when you pump it right here it's letting air in through the brake booster too much air and then your your engine sees that as as a lean condition because it's letting more unmetered air it's unmetered air not passing through the mass airflow sensor getting through there so uh thanks for watching my video comment rate and subscribe it, it relieves the valve and the valve allows air to come in this way and then it it, it it allows the suction to suck it so it basically it just helps so you don't have to push so hard on this thing when you're uh when you're braking because little old ladies out there they're driving these cars and they definitely they don't want to have uh to put tons of force on their pedal on the brake pedal to stop you know you got little old ladies driving cars and stuff you don't have just big old tough guys so uh the vehicle's off right now eh, it's real easy it, this is called like pedal reserve right here um you just put it to somewhere you could put it like to right here if you want you could wherever you get a reference point just get yourself a ruler or something you could put it right here if you want you can see you're about four and a half right there and uh you, you just pump it you want to give it a consistent see how it's going down i'll put it like this so it or, see now it won't go down as far now it even won't go down as far now it's nice and tight basically what's that doing is checking the power boot power brake booster when I had it like this and I started the vehicle and it went down that's telling me that this thing is getting vacuum it's telling me that it's working properly after I start the stop the vehicle and I hold it like this and it and it raises basically the first pump it goes all the way down and then the more pump it keeps going it goes it raises it higher higher this way so it'll be down here then when I pump it it'll go up I pump it again it'll go up like that and that tells you also that that uh, that it's sealing properly um and basically the final check you want to do oh yeah I know these slippers are stupid somebody gave them to me because they said they look gay but I'm okay with my manly hood so um the final check that's what I was using before I'm at about five inches right there and then the reserve goes to about four five let me get this a little bit five to four about an inch that's for this vehicle you want to check your vehicle might be a little bit different um, it's about an inch or so it moves about an inch so you pump it pump it pump it and then uh one check you want to do is I'm gonna have to push this down so I'm gonna have to leave you right there I'm gonna have to uh, 
see if I can do it with you right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the vehicle with my foot hold down on this, like that. I'm gonna try to get you in there. Unfortunately, this is a stick, so I gotta stick my other foot in here to push this down. So if you wanna you see, I'm gonna start the vehicle. You wanna pump it? Now, it'd be good to have a reference with the ruler, but you're gonna be able to see. So I got it down, now I'm gonna start the vehicle. See, it goes down as soon as I start the vehicle. The vehicle almost stumbles a little bit at idle when you push the brake booster. And then what I'm gonna do now is, watch me hold it down like that, and I'm gonna stop the vehicle. Now what I'm gonna do is, now I got it down. Now this is also gonna do another check right here to make sure that it's sealing properly. Every time I push up and down, it's supposed to raise it up a little farther. See, it goes down that far. Let me try to get the ruler down there. Every time I pump up and down, it should raise it a little bit higher to the reserve. We're gonna, um, we're gonna do a simple brake booster check. Let's say you're a starting out tech or something, you're starting to field and your boss is, they're having complaints about their brake booster. Maybe it's the brake booster, check the brake booster and you're thinking to yourself, maybe you forgot, and you're thinking to yourself, how do I check the brake booster again? Anyways, this is just a, a quick way of checking the performance of the uh, vacuum assisted brake booster you're going to find on most vehicles found everywhere some are uh, some have different type of operations most vehicles today have just this vacuum assisted it just uses a brake power booster it's got a diaphragm and uh, what happens is basically when your engine's running you have vacuum coming from the engine to the other side is that diaphragm when you push down on this it pushes down also on the master cylinder through the piston but to help that piston and help to to push this down easier when you push this down 